topic is partial differentiation of implicit functions. We can uh, represent a given function in two forms. We can see here either in the explicit form or in the implicit form. A function expressed as is this equal to f of x y is said to be in explicit form and if it is in the form phi of x y is equal to 0 we say that it is in the implicit form you can see the examples here z is equal to x square plus y square. You can see the right hand side is a function of x and y alone. So it is of the form z is equal to f of x y. So this is an example of explicit form of a two variable function. And in the second example, you can see a relation between x, y and z is written in the left hand side of the expression. So x z minus y z equal to 0. This is of the form phi of x y z equal to 0. This function can be expressed as explicit form. Look here, you know, z is common here. So you can write x minus y into z is equal to 0. Therefore, z is equal to 0 by x minus y. Okay. So, this is equal to 0. Here, uh, right hand side is a uh, zero function you will get is that is equal to zero only. We have some other value here. Uh, suppose uh, you have I will show you another example. x z minus y z minus 1 equal to zero. Then what happens? You can write x z minus y z equal to 1. Therefore, z into x minus y by x minus y or z is equal to 1. And now you can see this is a, this a function of x and y. Okay, this is how we are converting implicit function into explicit function. But we need not express the function in explicit form to find the partial derivative. I am going to show that technique. How we pa differentiate partially an implicit function without converting it into explicit form. Okay. Our first question is find the dose at boy dou x and dou z by dou y if y square plus x z minus y z equal to 0. Now take this function. Now this is in the implicit form because the left hand side is of the form phi of x y z equal to 0 a mixture of y x and z. Okay. So take this function. y square plus x z minus y z equal to 0. We have to differentiate this expression with respect to x also with respect to y. When you differentiate z with respect to x, the other variable y is treated as a constant. That law is applicable here also. Now y square is a function of y alone. I am going to differentiate this expression with respect to x. So, the derivative of the first term is 0 plus 
x is said. So what happens? x into first function. You have to consider these two as two functions. So, so we have to apply the product rule x into rho z by rho x. First function into derivative of the second plus second function into derivative of the first with respect to x. Now we have to differentiate it with respect to x. z into 1 minus y is a constant now because our differentiation is with respect to x. y into rho z by rho x equal to 0. Now we have to simplify this. That is, these two terms contains rho z by rho x. So you can write x minus y into rho z by rho x equal to what? Take this term to the right hand side. Minus this x. Or rho z by rho x equal to minus z divided by x minus y. Or we can write it as positive z divided by y minus x. How? By taking a minus sign outside from the, from the denominator. When you take a minus sign outside, you will get y minus x. That minus sign and this minus sign get cancelled. So we got dou z by dou x is equal to z by y minus x. Now take this expression again. Now I am going to differentiate this expression with respect to y. Okay. So the first term which is a function of y alone. And I am going to differentiate with respect to y. So what you get? 2y. y squared derivative 2y. Plus x is a, when you differentiate with respect to y, x is a constant. x into rho z by rho y. Minus. Then put a bracket. Because this minus is common to both these. First, we have to apply product rule here because this is a function of y and this is a function of both x and y. So, what happens? First function into the derivative of the second with respect to y plus second function into derivative of the first one with respect to y, it is 1. So, this is equal to 0. So, what you get? 2y x by rho x minus y into rho z by rho y minus z equal to 0. This minus sign is common to both these steps. Now you take rho z by rho y sorry this is rho z by rho y rho z by rho y common from these two terms. So, x minus y into rho z by rho y equal to take this term, these two terms to the right hand side. So, minus z becomes plus z. z minus 2y. Therefore, rho z by rho y equal to is that minus we will discuss more problems in the next class yeah. thank you have a nice time